Welcome to 33 and a Third. I'm Rosie Nolan, here with guest Mr. James Farley. We're here to inform you about the resurgence of vinyl and collection. So, um, you have some vinyls from a lot of foreign countries. Yes. That seems like something you're very interested in. Sure. Uh, let's take a look at some of the ones that you have. Very good. I started collecting vinyl from uh, foreign countries when I just got kind of burned out on American music. There's a lot of uh, vinyl from my generation that I've just kind of heard all of it. So I started looking around and uh, making friends in foreign countries and what I basically love is the Beatle and the Beatlesque sound, the Beatles and the Beatlesque sound. So I, I discovered from my friends and just doing research some of these other bands that are very Beatlesque and, and I would probably have never heard before unless I researched it. So um, this is more of a, a common band. This is the Easy Beats from Australia and once again this is George Young and Harry Vanda and uh, George Young's brother Angus, of course, formed ACDC, but this was a very raucous beat, uh, almost freak beat music, just really, really good stuff. Friday in my mind was their big hit in the 60s. We have a group called Solara, a uh, very, very mellow band out of Spain, uh, very melodic, uh, words actually sung in English, mm -hmm. uh, really, really great, great band. This is a really interesting piece, a group called Tulip out of Japan uh, that do Beatle covers from 1976, and they're actually, in my opinion, better than the Beatles. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really, really great album, very rare. Not that expensive, but nobody really knows what it is, yeah. uh, but it's really, and it has a kind of an anime cover, which is kind of cool, too. A group called the Tagus, and these gentlemen are out of uh, Sweden, mm -hmm. a very Beatles sound. Uh, their album studio was, uh, you know, kind of the Swedish Sgt. Peppers, it was called. It was really, really good, good stuff. A group called the uh, Ugly Ducklings, uh, Neil Young was very fond of these guys. They're out of Canada, uh, very punk, uh, kind of pre-punk sound. Mm -hmm. uh, song called Nothing was a, a big hit in, in Canada and really, really good. This is a group called the Outsiders, and there was an American Outsiders, but this Outsiders was out of the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, also very punk, uh, very, very hard uh, core type of, of music and uh, more of a freak beat style, really mm -hmm. good stuff. And if you remember Golden Earring, the song Radar Love you may hear on, this is the, when they were the Golden Earrings, they were out of Holland. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was uh, very, very uh, wonderful. Coymans, George Coymans was the, the lead singer. Just really, really good stuff, really rarity. And I picked that up at a Chicago record store, just a, I mean a record show, just oh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago in Hillside, which is really good. This is a band, a Beatles called The Shakers. They're out of Uruguay, uh, sung in English. Uh, they were kind of the uh, export out of Uruguay in the uh, yeah. 70s. And they had, uh, on, you can find this on YouTube, they have a, a, uh, a video where they actually drive a tank through a building. I mean, it was really pretty, pretty cool for, yeah. the, for the time. It was uh, very much of a kind of a... Uh, rebellious type of video and I'll just do a, a couple more quick. This group of, of geeps, uh, they look like they could be found at a, kind of a, an institution. These guys were uh, uh, as beautiful, melodic of a band as I've ever heard called Improved Sound Limited and they're out of uh, Germany. Uh, it's just a, it's an amazing record, just amazing Beatlesque harmonies and they did it as well as anybody. Mm -hmm. From America, I've included Uh, my first group, the first group that I was exposed to was, was Paul Revere and the Raiders and they ran around in their Revolutionary War outfits and played hard rock and roll and kind of frat party rock and roll and uh, very, very, uh, not respected a lot unfortunately, but a terrific, terrific band and uh, I think there's a, a resurgence uh, in their popularity and their records were made mass produced so much that you can find them very cheap at almost any record mm -hmm. store. So there's a lot from different countries that you just brought up, obviously. Right. And um, do they sound any different from from like more modern ones or ones that you'd find more commonly? I'll let you know that uh, you just brought up. Do they sound different? I can tell you they sound different because the vinyl on, on some of those, especially in the UK, is better. It's pressed better than mm -hmm. in the US. And they actually sound better on your stereo. But the music itself is is very similar in the vein of of the the bands from. Uh, that were that were popular at the time, the Rolling Stones, the Who, you know, yeah. uh, the Beatles, all those those bands. 
So like it does, it definitely has like a different type of music to it rather than just like the same that was popular during the 70s, 60s. Uh, I think it's extremely similar, but you've never heard the songs, mm -hmm. and that's what's great about it. Yeah, that's what's great about it. So, um, are you interested because it's not English music? Are you interested? Like, why are you so fascinated with? Um, music from other countries. I'll let you know that every person that you go album picking, you see album picking in all the crates, they're looking for something they haven't heard or something mm -hmm. interesting and, and new. And these records you, you're not going to find generally. So things from foreign countries you're not going to experience unless you really go out and hunt for it. And once again the whole uh, point of collecting vinyl is the hunt. Yeah. So um, you have a lot of different, I mean do you speak any of the languages that you hear on these vinyls? No, actually it's very liberating to me that I don't. Because mm -hmm. oftentimes the, some of the lyrics are, especially in the music of today, are so are so bent and it's very like, a lot of downer, the whole downer folk mm -hmm. uh, era of, of just people just sitting down uh, and listening to this you know, doom and gloom lyrics. Uh, a lot of the, the music from uh, Argentina and uh, from the, the Netherlands and Germany, a lot of the, the foreign lyrics uh, you know, I, I listen to just just for the sound and the yeah. uh, and the harmonies and the instruments. It's it's once again very very liberating. But I definitely don't speak the language. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing all these with us. It's been a pleasure. Do you pleasure. have any um, final comments? I think it's very nice that you're doing this, and I'm very impressed that you're taking this interest and and putting it into action. Well, so thank you, thank you, Rosie. I appreciate your time. Of course. Thanks for joining us on Thirty Three and a Third. See you next time.